Well, I think that there has been some level of talks now ongoing. We'll hear what Michelle Barney has to say this evening, uh, and I think ultimately uh, there will be uh, an intensification of talks um, with a view to getting uh, a satisfactory outcome. But it's it's not a deal at any price. Obviously, there are key issues around level playing area, around fisheries, um, and in terms of governance and, and dispute resolution subsequently. So. Uh, there are still very serious issues, and movement will have to be made on those issues. Yeah, I think where there's a will, there's a way, uh, and I think um, my sense is that you know, uh, with COVID-19 having such a devastating impact on society and on the economies uh, in, in the United Kingdom and across Europe, um, obviously I think leaders will not want to hit citizens with a shock in terms of uh, what a no deal would represent, a significant additional shock to or respective societies and economies. But I think that, that, that is a motivating factor in seeking to arrive at a comprehensive deal uh, and, a, and a good deal uh, that would be in the best interest of our citizens given the uh, current situation in relation to COVID. Time, I think we, we still can get this resolved within the time, fri time frame available to us. Okay, thank you, you very much. Uh, one word for oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you spoke to all the press. No, but not to me, because I have the foreign press. I had the foreign press over. So do you have a moment for the BBC? It is crucial to reach a deal both in the interest of the UK and the European Union uh, going forward, both for the economy, jobs, uh, our future wealth generation, but also because of the geopolitical situation and the need, I think we all feel, in an increasingly unstable world, uh, that geopolitically we work together. Uh, it would be crazy vis-à-vis uh, -vis the outside world if the UK and the EU would not be able to come to an agreement. Uh, so I think it's in both our interests, economically and geopolitically, to get to a deal. Yeah, and do you think the UK... It did raise an eyebrow. On the other hand, uh, I assume and expect my friend Boris Johnson to uh, live up to the commitments of the withdrawal agreement. Uh, and I'm still cautiously optimistic that we can uh, get somewhere. Thank you. Thanks very much. Hey, 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 hey,